<laughs> oh, mud bog, baby! Get our cars stuck. Sounds dry. another episode of Asphalt Cowboys TV. What we got going on today is we are putting an oil cooler on the SR. It's needed it for a while. We've pretty much got it all mocked up where it's going to go and where the lines are going to run. We took the sandwich plate back out because we found out that it leaks so we're going to Teflon tape it and these were loose so we're going to tighten them up tight because they weren't. So. We have the oil cooler right here in between the intercooler and the rad. So the air passes through intercooler into oh, the man. oil cooler. I have the lines ran up behind the headlight and literally down to the side of the block. We're gonna smack this oil sandwich plate on the adapter which comes with the kit, S13 and S14. So we're gonna put the S14 one in it. I got a K&N 1008 because it's a short version of the 1010. So this should work after that. Yeah. Hopefully it starts because we tried to do this last night and then it wouldn't start. So I think I fixed that issue. We'll see when we get mm -hmm. there. Stay with us. All right, so we Teflon taped. You're gonna take your 7 8 on this stuff so that it's tight. We Don't not, strip it. <laughs> and we are not taking it out again. Yeah. So if it leaks, it leaks forever. If it <laughs> leaks, I'm calling ISR. <laughs> I'm gonna find out where they're at and I'm gonna shot this through their window. It's tight squeeze in there. Okay, so we got Corey putting the sandwich plate on the side of the block. I know you can't see shit, because I can't see shit. So we're gonna try and see where his little hands are. There they are. Not much to see. Very clean engine bay. The years of uh, good use. No see, only touch. No see, no touch. On there. All right, so sandwich plate's on. I'm gonna tighten it up with this one inch wrench. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. Wah, wah, wee, woo. Wah, wah, wee, woo. What's up, buddy? This is sick. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up, dude? Uh, nah, 100%. I would just get a fan trial and the GK Tech fan. Yeah. They're like. I already bought one, and I think, and it was defective from the factory. Like they didn't cut it right, and it would not fit on the fucking. Uh, cut all the SRs. One, two, three, 
Sam just gifted me this. Shout out to Sam for that because I gotta do turbo in the gasket and exhaust man full gasket on that, so that'll be nice. Just put the oil filter on, Tom's now gonna make sure that it's tight. Everything's now ran again. The, what engine mounts do you have on this? These are ISR Paul. Dude, I got the GK Tech like aluminum ones. It's yeah, terrible. Really? It is so bad. You can't even hear like anything going on. All you hear is. That's good enough for me. So we got that on. That's on. I'm gonna put some oil in it. Check the oil. Now to prime these lines, we don't have to unplug anything. We just fucking right. I mean, you could plug the cast, but there you go. Just crank it till you see a little pressure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Crank it till you see some pressure, and then we'll so I we got we're gonna prime the lines in the block. Well, the thing is, that, is that a thermostat? Yeah. One. Oh yeah. That's like prime then. Because thermostat ones, it's closed, so okay. there's no oil going through, and then whenever it warms up, it puts okay. oil through it. This one's always going. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which way you run these lines, right? No. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, because the problem with it not running over 2500 RPM was, I believe, the math. So I swapped in a new Z32 math. It works now. We are going to bolt that up and start it. So take three. We decided. It's all junk. Yeah, we decided this is junk. Just kidding. But on a real note, this is take three and... We're still leaking. We're still leaking. <laughs> <laughs> three gloves, three gloves, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't check to see if it's if it revs right, but we're still leaking oil, so <laughs> Who the f cares if it revs right? <laughs> <laughs> We're buying Rotella in bulk now. Big so bulk. whenever you have to do four oil changes for one project, you have it. Thing will have is the oil in this SR will be so clean. What's the verdict? More in it. What? So there was like NTP fittings on the bottom for like oil pressure sensor, and I tightened them with the box end, but there's Allen keys at the mm. bottom of them. And Gotcha. Everything good then? What's oil pressure? 52. Probably needs a little bit of oil, but. Looks good. No more leaks. I must ask you a question. Are you subscribed? If not, definitely hit the subscribe button. A lot of things coming. We actually are going to be opening up a shop. So we've been working hard up in that room right there. We call it the sweatshop because we're in there 3D printing stuff, modeling stuff for you guys. Uh, we do have a cup holder. It is in his, it's in his car actually, on Instagram and stuff, you'll see it, it's on Facebook. I'll have it somewhere, eventually. Still version one. We have center caps for Wed's wheels. Um, we also have a gauge pods that we're working on for S13s in the center above the radio. So yeah, a lot of things coming. Stickers will be coming. We have a design coming so two things t-shirts hoodies beanies you know all that stuff's gonna be coming definitely make sure you're subscribed also make sure that you follow us on instagram because we do post a lot of updates on there so stickers stay tuned they're coming and then designs are coming too so yeah back to the action now so it's done done we no leaks no leak take three uh, oh. wow Lightning reflexes. Yeah, so I'd say so. <laughs> All right, so front bumper on, lights on, everything tightened up, good. Tom is now 
on the last pieces of trim on which is more of a pain in the ass than anything else all right Damn so, it, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so this. check this out oh no because it's grounded, grounded now. now yeah yeah that was sparking you know we try and show you guys stuff and then we usually just get told we're liars yeah. so <laughs> the car just said you lie yeah Dude, I turned this fan on yesterday and it shut the radio <laughs> off. Do we have a starter? Oh my goodness. Wow, we're on fire. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no oil. Woo. Yeah, donut, time, huh? donut time. First ride in Sam's new Pokey. Oh, that double did. You fancy. <laughs> Get that car play, mate. This is Sam's stock Cokey inside view. Looking nice, though. Fuck out of Tommy's way. What kind of shit he's gonna fucking do here? So, the best part of our shop is that little tree right there. And, uh, you're about to see why. <laughs> yeah. Yo. We got this inside joke whenever we don't hit the fucking hitch. <laughs> fucking retards. <laughs> I say she fucking runs, boy. Good girl. Stock SR20. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, your uh your light might have shot out there, but <laughs> And then I was like, Sam, look, he's about to run it over. <laughs> We're pretty lucky with Tom's place. Like, this is beautiful scenery everywhere. So, the boys are just trying to get now. We'll have it up on the gram tomorrow. If you don't follow us on Instagram yet, definitely give us a follow. Give you guys the sneak peek of the pictures that are about to follow. The Koki brothers. Pretty good. Put your flashlights on. Look at this one here, mate. <sighs> Ooh. Oh. Check this one there. We got a photographer on our hands. Yo, pause the video and comment below how big you think that tree is. How old do you think that tree is? We don't care how big it is. We know it's huge as hell. How <laughs> yeah. old do you think it is? Drop it in the comments. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we tried hugging it with six people and we could not hug it. <laughs> There's your tent. <laughs> Some more angles for you guys. All the cokey love. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, Sam, there's just straight dirt coming off your fucking shit. <laughs> just vibrating out of there. What? He said he touched dirt, so I had to touch the dirt. <laughs> there's a reason this time? I literally looked back and was like, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, and the police station is right there! <laughs> Put them in the garage! Go, Hell yeah. go, go! So, it's official. The oil cooler's good. I think, uh, we're just kinda... I need to figure out how I can be like... <laughs> I just want that on re- <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's official. Um, Sam's car is running, that's his daily street car, so it's not going to be on any of the drip videos or anything. But, the oil cooler and that is done. Three times it took us. Thank you, Brandon Chally. Um, Time to go help Josh with his Honda Element. What? What was that? No one's in the I'll pick you up. The neighbor, <laughs> the neighbors came down for a show. Oh. <laughs> but, Sorry. Yeah, everything looks good. Everything's good. You got the neighbors down here looking at what we're doing. <laughs> that shit's cool, but y'all are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but help Josh out. See what you got going. Oh, catalytic converter oh, test crazy. pipe. Fun shit. Fun shit. <laughs> All right, guys. So, if you like what you saw here, us do oil colors three times. My boy Josh here doing his caddy. Hit subscribe, smash the notification bell because you're going to want to see these studs again. So, we thank you, we love you, have a good night.